what you doing, Otaku? I'm the AC. I'm going to talk about the Junji Ito Collection anime. Yes, it's been a couple years since it came out. It came out at the beginning of 2018, but I just felt like I needed to talk about it. I have already did a video about Junji Ito's adaption of No Longer Human, and most recently I also did a video for his Venus in the Blind Spot collection. So why am I doing it now though? Well first off, it's because I didn't get a chance to do videos whenever the anime was first coming out. The other reason is because I just love Junji Ito, everything he makes, but for some reason, I saw enough dislike towards this anime that I just wanted to put in my own two cents and defend, defend it. Now, I have no idea if people actually dislike it as much as I think. Maybe one person is enough to really fuel me to want to defend it, but I have seen it multiple times. And I haven't really seen many people giving it any praise. Praise, I think it really deserves. So, I don't know. I haven't really looked for people's opinions. I guess I could ask more people, but then if I ask them and they agree, then I don't really need their opinions because they agree with me. If I ask them and they disagree and they don't like it, well, they're wrong and their opinions don't matter. But, no, I'm kidding. I do want more opinions whether they agree or disagree, like it or dislike it. I just, I haven't bothered to ask. So, yeah, if you dislike it at the end of this video, go ahead and tell me why you dislike it. But until then, I'm going to say why I like it. First off, let's start with the most obvious part. Chuchi Ito, his manga mostly is in black and white. Of course, we have an anime that is mostly in color. Now, there's this whole transition from manga anime. Should it even have happened? Is his work better in a, a manga media? I mean, I, I do like the manga better. I do like the black and white aspect. But, I think the way it was transitioned into an anime was faithful. I feel like the art style was close to what could be in a Jujito manga anime adaption. I mean, of course it's not perfect. No adaption is going to be perfect. But it was so close. Though, I will say, Jujito does have colored art and some colored pages in his manga. And there is a big difference between the coloring style in the anime and what Junji Ito does. So, there is that distinction. But, the anime is well made, it's well produced, I believe. And I don't see that as a big problem. Yeah, maybe if you're a die-hard purist and you think it needs to be perfect, you're already wishing for something that cannot happen. Maybe they could have made a black and white anime. It would have been cool. I think it still would have worked. Uh, but I don't think the color is bad. Now, the other part that I really like, and I'm so glad they did it this way, is the length for each story in the episode. Each episode is two stories, but they're not both evenly split in the episode. Like the very first episode, most of the is taken up by one story and then the last like, couple of minutes, maybe not even a minute of it, is a second story. And that's great because that's also staying faithful to the way his manga is written. They're not always all the same length. He, in Venus in the Blind Spot, the, uh, there was one story that was only four pages long. Awesome! And he has stuff like that in the anime too. It's great that they do this. I, this whole idea of having to keep everything the same length I get it, it's the way anime works, it's the way television block works, and for advertisements and all this stuff. At least within the episode, each story can have a different length. Not only this, yeah, Junji Ito is a horror mangaka. That's what everyone knows him for, but if you really read all of his manga, you know he has a sense of humor. He has a whole cat manga about his cats, and it's like this comedic story in a horror style and it's great and he has this kind of stuff too he has suichi and all those stories that not aren't always given all at once he spreads them throughout the anime it's great it shows all the sides of 
Junji Ito. It's not just this like dreary horror and that's it. It, it. He has more personality than that. You just have to not be picky. And I could go on and on about art, the, the selected stories he picked. I'm not going to go through each episode and defend every single story and every single episode. I just wanted to talk about the overall series and the way it functions, and it's great. We Ever since Juji Ito's collection anime came out, he's been getting more popular. So, may, it was probably built up before that, but we've been seeing him get more attention and he's been coming in the, at least in the West, in the US, he's been getting more recognition. And it's great, and it's awesome. I've been a fan of Juji Ito since early 2012. I think that was the first time I read any of his manga. I read Uzumaki got from my school's library. Don't know why they had it in there. I'm glad they did. And it just made me feel so weird. It's about spirals and yet he just did this awesome thing with it. So yeah, I'm going, I'm completely biased about defending this. But I can't help it. If, I still like to believe I'm the kind of person that even if I'm biased, I still want the best from what I like. So if he does something I don't like, I'm still going to call him out for it. If you watch a lot of my other videos, I do always like to shine a light on negative aspects of stuff because things can get better. I don't feel like this anime deserves any of the negativity people are seeing. I don't even see what people are talking about. A lot of what I see when I do see people dislike the anime, they don't really give reasons why. They're just like, yeah, I didn't like it, it wasn't a good adaption. And it's like, okay, I could ask you more, but I just already do not like you. <laughs> like, no, I should ask people more for their opinion. I do like arguing, I do like hearing about it, but it's just like, if your first reaction is automatically, I don't like this adaption, and it's, that's, it just makes you think, you don't, you just don't like that it was adapted, and that's it. And it makes me question, one, if you're actually a fan, and two, if you're actually even watching it. I don't know. So if you're posting reviews about this stuff, actually give why you like it, why you dislike stuff. This is for everything, not even Juju Ito. There's people who give negative reviews and just don't really say why, and it's like, I don't know. But, like I said, Junji Ito is what's up. This anime is great. It has so many of his stories. A lot of times, I've read the manga multiple times. I've watched the anime multiple times. I rewatched it right before I made this video, just because I wanted to. The stories, I feel like, are so faithful, I get confused as to which ones are actually only in the anime, which ones are only in the manga, and which ones I watch first, where they just all blend together because they're so well done, they're so faithful. And if it can confuse me, even, regardless of how many times I've read and watched them, hey, I don't, I can't question it anymore. I've done all I care. Like, good job. Good job, anime. Now, besides the actual anime part and the contents, the, the opening and endings are awesome. It's such cool. It's cool music. It's a cool video. And it's just a cool way to put it. And as cool as it is, maybe it's a little too cool for the tone of the show. That might, it's the most positive thing to be a negative. And as much nonsense as that seems, maybe that's it. It, it takes away from this creepiness, even comedicness, and just has this really cool music. And maybe that's it. The ending is, song is more creepy, but that beginning is just rocking, and I love it. But yeah, what do you actually think? Let me know. Are you, uh, dislike the anime? Have you not even seen it yet? Because you haven't seen it. Watch it. It's really good. If you disagree, let me know. And then I'll argue with you. Because, like I said, I think you're wrong. Not saying you're wrong. It's your opinion. Your opinion can't be wrong. It can be. Dependent on the circumstances. In this case, for the kind of media you want to consume, you can't be wrong. That could also be different too. You know what? 
state your opinion, I will argue with it. But yeah, so go ahead, let me know what you think of Junji Ito Collection Anime, and I'm going to just keep consuming all the Junji Ito goodness that I can. This stuff is starting to sound wrong now, so I'm going to end here. But, <laughs> if you like what he saw in this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to subscribe so you can see more of what I'm reading, watch it, all of the other stuff I like. Go ahead and subscribe on my channel, you can see why I do all that. But, until next time, I'm DAC. Thank you for watching, and bye.